this is like the weirdest vlog content. Should I not vlog this? You guys, I need to tell you the actual funniest thing ever. So my sweet husband suggested we go on date night tonight. Please don't do any extractions. <laughs> Okay, you guys, hopping on to start a new vlog. It is 5.40 and I am very much in my pajamas, ready for bed. <laughs> Had a very full, busy day today. If you can hear Yars upstairs playing the new Gran Turismo, which just came out, and he is out of his mind <laughs> with excitement. I was on my feet. Oh, can you hear it? I don't know if it'll translate on camera. It's, it's just like, he has on headphones, but it's like a steering wheel. You know, and he's like, it's like a car game. Like, it's like a super bougie car game where he like races and stuff. He's got like a steering wheel and a little chair. I feel like I've shown you guys before, but like, it's so strange how I can like hear it. It just, it's, it makes like the weirdest noise. I don't even know. It doesn't bother me. It's just really random. But I was on my feet all day and I also took another, I walked two miles yesterday and today because it was like so, so nice out. Um, well, until like two and then it started raining, but this morning I got out and walked and my feet are just, uh, my dogs are barking. Isn't that what people say? <laughs> so anyway, I thought I would finally bust out, um, the foot massager that Yar got me for Valentine's Day. Unboxing my foot massager. How thrilling. I will link this one. It's from Home Medics, um, and it has... Oh, I'm reading, I'm reading the foot bath you guys are sitting on. <laughs> he also got me a foot bath, but okay, they're both from Home Medics. Shiatsu massage, air compression, and it has soothing heat. So, ooh, looks nice. Ooh, it has, I love this part of it. On the bottom, it has like a little um, wrap around for the cord. Oh my God, that is nice. That's nice for storage. I really actually like that. That's I'm honestly a huge moment for me because cords, I, I just hate cords. And I'm going to curl up on the couch and watch Sweet Magnolia. We just watched the most recent episodes of American Auto, which we've been really liking. All right, I plugged it in. Ooh. It's uh, doing something. Ooh. And then here's the heat button. Ooh. I'm giving away the foot content for free. Oh, that is nice. Oh, wow, that is so nice. Oh my gosh, that is so heavenly. That's like, that is so good. And I have it on low. I'm gonna put it on high. Ooh. It's kind of like, yeah, that's nice. I've had other. <laughs> Is this like the weirdest vlog content? Should I not vlog this? Um, I've had other foot massagers. I'm gonna put it on medium. And they like low key hurt. Um, like they were just way too intense. Even on high, this feels so good. <gasps> I love this. This is so great. Yeah, and if you have like cold feet, I'm just like hot from my shower. I always get hot after I shower. Um, but if you were like chilly, on a chilly night. My feet are usually cold. Um, putting the heat on with this would be mint. So anyway, <laughs> happy vlog. <laughs> but I think I'm gonna just like put this over by the couch so I can just enjoy this while I watch a show. This is great. This is by far the best foot massage I've ever had. Again, I'll find it, I will link it. Very good and wide foot friendly. I have wide feet. It's not like tight or uncomfortable, it's roomy. Okay, so I just wanted to open this with you guys. I'm gonna go watch Sweet Magnolia. Let me know what you guys are watching right now and if you have any recommendations. It's the best day of the week. We also just got a Hello Fresh on the mail. Oh, it came right in time for dinner. So let's cook some Hello Fresh for dinner tonight. This portion of the vlog is sponsored by Hello Fresh. You know them, you love them. So let's see what our options are. Ooh. We've got, this is a real, ooh, I might make this. This is one of my favorites. The meatballs with the bulgogi sauce. And there's tacos. I love the tacos. And then we also have an Italian chicken over lemony 
I said Pascetti. Pascetti. I'm sorry, these are calling to me. And Yarman loves them too. So let's make these meatballs with bulgogi sauce. You guys, if you don't know, HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit. It's the best. Yar and I have not had one meal from HelloFresh that we didn't like drool over. Like, I kid you not, it's chef's kiss amazing. And they come in like a temperature controlled box. So if you're out all day, like it'll be good when you get home. It gives you the perfect amount of food that you need. So there is little to no food waste. They're in each bag, super easy to organize in the fridge. And then underneath in the bottom under a ice pack is your individual meats. Okay, so let's get to cooking. Guys, with HelloFresh, you get fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. You can count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. Stay on track with simple recipes and fresh pre-portioned ingredients that help limit meal prep time and cut back on trips to the grocery store. HelloFresh offers so many recipes to choose from each week that totally help me break out of my recipe rut when I'm not sure what I wanna cook. And HelloFresh is a can't beat value. Even at full price, it's pre-portioned ingredients mean you don't waste money on excess food. Guys, I know you've got some rotting vegetables in the back of your fridge. HelloFresh's pre-portioned ingredients mean there's less prep for you and less wasted food. You guys can go to HelloFresh.com and use code FEARLESS16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. Trust me, you will not be disappointed. When I tell you guys these are the best meatballs ever, period. They're like kind of sweet, tangy. They're just so good. HelloFresh, I love you. All right, now I'm going to curl up on the couch and watch some TV. You guys, I need to tell you the actual funniest thing ever. So you know how I was watching season two of Sweet Magnolias, right, on Netflix. <laughs> I can't, I can't even make, I can't make this shit up. I just realized I have been watching season one again. I watched three episodes until I figured out I was re-watching season one. I've already seen season one when it first came out. <laughs> oh my God. No, like I feel so stupid right now. And I thought to myself, I'm like, the season's really boring. <laughs> I've watched three episodes. And then I figured it out. <laughs> oh my god. No, like, this is literally the funniest thing that's ever happened to me. And also the saddest. And like, it's been a while since season one till season two came out. So like, it was kind of just like a refresher. <laughs> but the scene that just triggered it for me in season three or episode three of season one was when coach was like changing his shirt in the driveway after it got like wet. And then like the lady drives by and is just like, call Peggy. <laughs> and I'm like, didn't this happen last season? And then I look, I press the down button and I see season one, episode three. And I'm like, maybe I just hit the wrong episode on, on this, this night. And then I go back, no, I watched season one, episode one, two, and three. Haven't even started season two. Haven't even started it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Can't make it up. And now I'm just too tired to even start season two. So if you want, I hope this made you laugh because I am sitting here just cracking up. Like how on earth did I not figure that out sooner? I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna call it a day. I'm gonna go to bed. Hello you guys, it's the next day. I'm just checking in. I don't have a lot to report today. I have been just running errands and I just filmed my makeup for TikTok. This has been like my go-to everyday makeup. I also was cleaning out my office closet uh, and I found my wedding dress, <laughs> it was in there. <laughs> I need to put it in like a plastic storage bin and put it in the basement because it's in a box. I don't know if you guys remember when I posted this, but I had it like professionally packaged. I think David's bridal, right? But anywho, if you want to see the deets on this makeup, it's on my TikTok. Um, I've been just loving posting on TikTok and I think I'm actually going to film um, an Abercrombie haul on my TikTok. <laughs> I'll probably post it on Instagram too though. Okay, so I just filmed the Abercrombie TikTok and Instagram reel. Oh my gosh. Never in my wildest dreams did I think Abercrombie would become one of my favorite stores as a plus size woman. Like, stepped up quality 
trend. They're a little pricey, but like to be expected. I actually grabbed these shorts and this tank as well. Um, they're just really cute and comfy. Like everything from there just feels so luxe. I got the most gorgeous faux leather pants. Uh, a really cute like sweetheart neck corset top. Um, yeah, <laughs> really cute dress. So again, I'm sorry to keep promoing that, but it's on my uh, Instagram and TikTok. Actually, I'll just, you know, I'll insert the reel here so you guys can see the outfits. So my sweet husband suggested we go on date night tonight. So I put on this top from the Abercrombie Hall. It's so cute. It's a little bit big, but I think that's okay. Paired with my Ava and Viv jeans, and then these cute little booties I've had forever. All right, let's go on date night. You ready for date night? Yeah. yeah. Favorite flatbread spots. Good morning, you guys. It's the next day. We had a really nice date night. I didn't really vlog because we were just enjoying some quality time. And now it is Wednesday, my dudes. So Yara's working. I am actually gonna go get a facial today because for Christmas from two different family members, I got facial gift cards. So this place, I don't think I've ever been to this place that I'm going to. So I'm curious how it's gonna go. It's for like an oxygen facial, but I'm pretty excited to just go and chill out. But you already know what I'm worried about. Please don't do any extractions. <laughs> We're finally starting to fade these marks from the last one. I'm like afraid to ask them not to do extractions i'm afraid they're gonna be like we should really do them <laughs> i'm like please don't pressure me i don't know why i have so much anxiety about it but like uh, i don't know i just i just need to stand up for myself and just express my feelings i'm just gonna be like do you mind if we um, this is me like practicing <laughs> this is an anxiety moment right here do you mind if we skip the extractions though i've i've just i would prefer if we just don't do the extractions <laughs> I actually had a really like kind of rough experience last time I had extractions somewhere. Like, do you mind if we skip the extractions? But I'm afraid if I say that, then they're gonna ask me like, oh my God, like what happened? And then they'll try to like reassure me that it's not gonna happen with them. But like, I would still prefer if we don't do extractions and I'd rather just like, maybe I shouldn't get into the details of why. I'm, okay, I'm just, this is what I'm gonna say. Do you mind if we skip the extractions though? I just would prefer if we skip the extractions. I need to just keep it short and sweet. Like I'm getting, I'm getting too, I'm getting too aggressive. Not aggressive, but like I'm saying too many words. It's making it too complicated. So she's gonna be like, do you have any skin concerns? Cause they always ask you that at the beginning of a facial. I'm gonna be like, um, not really, but do you mind if we skip the extractions? That's it, short, sweet, to the point. And you know, it's so funny, like growing up, <laughs> this actually was very helpful to me growing up, growing up, you know, I talked to my mom about everything. Like we were, we've always been really close because it's always just been the two of us. So like every time I would have, you know, something coming up where I would kind of have to like, not stand up for myself, but like, I don't know, like set a boundary or like express my wants or something. My mom and I would like role play. <laughs> or if I had to do something scary or anxiety provoking, like we would always role play. She would be like, let's, let's go over the scenario. Like I'll pretend to be this person and you be you. And like, it helped me a lot. <laughs> I don't know, did, any, did anyone else like do that with their parents? Sister, sibling, friend? 
<laughs> was it just me? I don't know, but it was very helpful to me growing up. And I just role played with you guys. So anyway, um, I'm gonna head out to my facial soon. So I will definitely let you guys know how it goes. I'm nervous. What if she's aggressive and wants, wants to do the extractions and forces me to get extractions? <laughs> All right, I just had my facial, and oh my God, it really could not have gone better. Um, when I first got into the room, she actually asked me, she was like, so do you wanna go more hydration route or like extraction route? And I'm like, oh, you're asking me, <laughs> this is so great. Um, and then we ended up having like a whole conversation about extractions. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, like I had a really like rough experience last time. I got a facial, the extractions left me with so many marks and like they're not going away that quickly. And she was like, yeah, some people like really love to be extracted. Um, but I always warn people like if you want me to really extract you like you might have marks for a while So it was really nice that she was like so open about it from the get-go. It was kind of a miracle Honestly, I was like this is a heaven-sent facialist, but she did a great job. I'm like super glowy super hydrated um, and this is like an organic spa where they only use like natural organic products and she did this like honey turmeric mask and exfoliated and I need to exfoliate more. I'm kind of bad with exfoliating. Like I'm pretty good with like, well, I wonder if some of the masks I use are exfoliating because I'm pretty good about like doing a face mask like once or twice a week. Um, but yeah, I think I want to try to do like a honey turmeric mask at home. It's great for like inflammation and stuff. Uh, so anyway the facial was a success and uh, I'm glowing I'm relaxed good stuff <laughs> okay I'm home I got a PR package from Verst so I thought we could open it up oh my god they're gonna be at Walmart now too okay I love this packaging it's kind of lime green Ooh, that fell off beautifully <laughs> High performance skincare for everyone. I really like Versed products. They're really, really good. I've used this before and I'm kind of hyped that they sent another one because I am getting low on my Clinique cleansing balm. This is a great, more affordable alternative. It actually really, really, really reminds me of the Clinique one. It's that same kind of balm texture where like you have to kind of dig it out and it melts your makeup down so nicely. So. Very excited about that. They also sent some of their vitamin C brightening serum. I will save this because I have a pretty full vitamin C serum right now. Then they also sent a advanced restoring serum with microalgae floritin and ferulic acid for aging skin and dullness. Cool. And then also this gel point, not gel point, dew point moisturizing gel cream. This is a great moisturizer if you are oily. Thank you so much, Versed. All right, you guys, I'm gonna end this vlog here so I can start another one, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Follow me on Instagram because I post there every day and we can hang out. But I hope you guys are doing well. I'm sending you guys all my love. Whatever you sh are struggling with right now, anything that's difficult in your life, I'm sending you good vibes. You got this, you will get through it. You are stronger than you know. All right, I will see you guys in another video very soon. Bye.